Tesla just pulled off something that no one in the EV world saw coming. They doubled the production ramp for the Model 2, the most anticipated and most strategically critical electric vehicle in the world. But here's the strange part. They didn't do it with new batteries, and they didn't do it with more robots or more workers. Instead, they made one quiet design change that flipped their entire factory math upside down. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the real engineering behind this unexpected doubling, the behind, the scenes decision that Elon Musk personally pushed for. The risks almost no one is talking about, and the one scenario that could make the Model 2 the cheapest Maspra, deuced EV in history. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll know something most Tesla fans don't. One, why this changes everything, if you think this is just another Tesla production story. It's not. This is a fundamental shift in how Tesla builds cars. And if it works, it could change the entire global EV landscape. The Model 2 isn't just another car. It's Tesla's entry into a category with hundreds of millions of potential buyers. The car that could redefine affordability. The car that Elon Musk once called the key to accelerating sustainable energy worldwide. But that dream only works under one condition. Tesla must build the Model 2 faster and cheaper than any EV in history. The early behind, the scenes reports didn't look great. Production trials were slow. The supply chain wasn't ready for the scale Tesla wanted. Even the much-hyped unboxed manufacturing method wasn't delivering the results Tesla expected. Then, something changed, seemingly overnight, internal analysis showed a dramatic shift. Tesla could double the production ramp, not by expanding the factory, not by adding more shifts, not by redesigning the entire car, but by rethinking one invisible part of the factory that 99% of people never pay attention to. And we're about to dive straight in. Two, the real choke point they discovered to understand how Tesla doubled production. We need to understand why Model 2 production was struggling in the first place. The problem wasn't demand that was sky high. The problem wasn't battery cost that was already dropping. And the problem definitely wasn't factory space. Tesla has some of the largest, most automated EV factories on Earth. The real problem was hidden deep inside the assembly line. A choke point that slowed everything down like a traffic jam on an eight-lane highway narrowing into two. And that choke point was... Part explosion. The Model 2, in its early design, had too many pieces, too many welds, too many robot motions, too many steps. Think of it like building a house. It's much easier to put up a wall if you have five pieces than if you have 45. Tesla engineers knew this, it's why they introduced Giga Castings in the first place. But the Model 2 was supposed to take that even further. Early prototypes tried smaller castings combined with traditional subframes. But the factories using these structures were overloaded with part handling robots. And every new part you add increases handling. Time and risk of failure. Here's the crazy part. Even a tiny increase in part count can dramatically slow down production. Every part needs. Delivery alignment, fastening sensors, quality checks, robot arm movement, sometimes human oversight, multiply that by thousands of cars per day, and the delays become massive. Tesla realized the Model 2 wasn't hitting the speed they wanted. The line wasn't optimized, and the upstream flow of the assembly process was constantly backing up. That's the moment when Tesla engineers proposed something, bold something, that Elon Musk personally backed. Three. The one decision that changed everything Tesla engineers proposed moving from two large castings to a single, massive, one. Piece casting a design that compresses dozens of parts into one unified structure. This wasn't just a step forward. It was a jump, a leap, a full redesign of how Tesla thinks about assembling a car. They eliminated dozens of brackets, dozens of weld points, dozens of fasteners, countless robot movements, countless human inspections, and suddenly, the assembly line breathed again. Internal estimates showed something insane. Over 40% of the parts for the Model 2. Front and rear structures disappeared overnight. This is the stuff that makes engineers celebrate. Fewer parts equals fewer problems. Fewer parts equals faster speed. Fewer parts equals lower cost. But the biggest impact was on tack time. The heartbeat of the factory. The time it takes for a car to move from one production stage to the next. 
Lowering tact time is like giving the factory steroids. It instantly boosts output without adding new equipment. And once Tesla saw the numbers, they realized something unbelievable. Their production ramp projection wasn't just improving, it was doubling. For how the ramp doubled, so let's talk numbers because this is where the story gets crazy. Let's say Tesla originally aimed for something like 1, 2, 100 Model 2 units per day. That's already impressive. But once they switched to the full casting approach, removed dozens of sub-assemblies, and tightened tack time, something incredible happened. The line could theoretically push to 400 plus units per day. That's a jaw, dropping leap in throughput. And it wasn't from hiring more workers. It wasn't from adding more robots. It wasn't from expanding the factory footprint. It was simply from removing friction. Tesla's internal analysis suggested that each unit its assembly time could drop by minutes minutes that quickly turn into hours saved per day and days saved per week. Multiply that over a year and you get tens of thousands of additional vehicles produced. All with that increasing operational cost. This is why engineers love simplification. This is why Elon Musk calls simplicity the ultimate sophistication. And this is why the Model 2 ramp doubling isn't a rumor. It's basic factory math. Five follow the money, cost collapse, but here's the twist that most people miss. Increasing production isn't the real story. The real story is decreasing cost. Because when you cut part count by 40%, you also cut tooling, you cut labor, you cut defects, you cut scrap, you cut rework, you cut warranty risk. Every time you reduce a part, you reduce a potential failure. Inside Tesla's internal documents, Engineers estimate that each minute of assembly time eliminated equals significant cost savings. Multiply that across millions of cars per year, and you're looking at a cost collapse that competitors simply can't match. This is why legacy automakers are terrified. A cheaper Model 2 isn't just a new product. It's a market-destroying weapon. 6. What Elon Musk himself said, Elon Musk has said multiple times that the biggest breakthroughs in Tesla manufacturing happen not in the car itself, but in how the car is built. He said the factory is the product. He said building the machine that builds the machine is the real challenge. He said the Model 2 must be dramatically simpler than any other car Tesla has ever built. And now we're seeing exactly what he meant. Musk also hinted that Tesla's future depends on their ability to build affordable EV at scale. And scale only happens with simplicity. Simplicity only happens with casting. Innovation. This is why Musk personally supported the redesign. This is why the casting GigaPress partners were pushed to deliver. This is why Tesla has been filing patents for next generation casting techniques. The Model 2 is becoming the purest expression of Musk's manufacturing philosophy. 7. The risks no one talks about. But before we look at what this means for you, the viewer, we need to talk about the risks. Because as powerful as this manufacturing method is, it comes with real dangers. Risk hash 1. Supplier dependency, a massive casting press must run at perfect consistency. If one supplier fails to deliver, the whole line can collapse. Risk hash 2. Defect amplification with big castings. A single floor means the entire piece gets scrapped. Smaller castings allow partial fixes. These don't. Risk hash 3. Gigapress downtime if the main casting cell goes offline. Production slows a crawl. Risk hash 4. Capital expenditure. These machines are expensive, crazy expensive. Risk hash 5. Regulatory hurdles, quality inspection is stricter for single piece structures. And yet, Tesla believes the rewards outweigh the risks. And based on the numbers we've seen, they might be right. 8. How this impacts you so what does this mean for you? Well, that depends on who you are. If you're a car buyer, it means the Model 2 could arrive sooner and cheaper than expected. If Tesla can manufacture at this speed, they can slash price margins and still make profit. If you're an investor, this is the signal Tesla needed to regain momentum. Doubling the ramp is a sign that Tesla's manufacturing advantage is finally turning into a competitive moat. If you're an EV enthusiast, it means the world may finally get a mass market electric car that can genuinely compete with gas. 
Vehicles on price, and if you're someone who simply wants to see sustainable technology win, this is the turning point. Final section, the in-game Tesla's Model 2 isn't just a car. It's a strategy, a blueprint, a manufacturing revolution. By doubling the production ramp through engineering simplicity, Tesla may have just unlocked the key to the next era of EV dominance. But will it work flawlessly? Will the risk undermine the progress? Will competitors catch up? Those are questions we'll explore in upcoming videos. But right now, the numbers don't lie. Tesla's ramp is real. The change is already happening. And the future of EV affordability may be closer than anyone thought. If you want a breakdown of Model 2 battery, the real pricing strategy, or a full deep dive into Tesla's next gen casting, comment below and I'll make that video next. See you in the next one.